Hi, I'm Miss Lindsay. Welcome to music class. I'm so glad you're here today. When you greet someone with a smile and wave, they feel happy. Let's sing our hello song together. Hello to you. Hello to you. Hello everybody. Hello to you. That sounds like another song that we know. Get your finger candles out. We're going to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my friends. Happy birthday to you. Now we are going to pat our laps. Are you ready? Sing hello with me. Hello to you. Hello to you. Hello everybody. Hello to you. I wonder, wonder what's in my bag of wonders today. Let's see, we've got Mr. Owl, mwah. We've got our costume for Pierre Gint. And wait, oh no, this is strange. There's a notebook in Pierre Gint's hat. I wonder what we'll do with that later. We've got hot, 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 hot cross buns, real ones, yummy. And we've got dance by the light of the moon. Buffalo gal, won't you come out tonight? I love reading that story. And my bells, I painted them. They look a little bit different. And then in our small pouch, we have our cards and our twinkle star and my phone for friends who sent me messages. And, oh, I hear it. An egg shaker. Shake, 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 shake. And we've got the Grand Old Duke of York. He had 20,000, no, 5,000, no, 10,000 men. And then we also have a new guy. Look, it's the itsy bitsy spider. Climbed up the water spout. He gets to play on our staff today. It'll be lots of fun. All right, I'm gonna put everything back in and we will get going. Okay, now that I have everything put back in my bag, let's review our cards, how our voices sound. Our voices can sound lots of different ways. They can sound loud, like when we're speaking in a megaphone. Our voices can also sound soft. What did you say? Our ears have to work really hard to hear a soft voice. On a cell phone, we speak normal, not too loud and not too soft so the person can hear us. Our voices can also make beautiful sounds like music. La, 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 one, two, three, notes on our staff. Oh, we have a new card today. Our voices can also sound this. What is this? This is called a rest. In music, a rest means mm. It means mm. No talking, it means mm. No sound, no sound is what a rest does. Like, happy birthday to you. Or, happy birthday to you. Nothing, right? We don't say words, it's called a rest. So if we combined la 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 with a rest, it would look like this. La 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 rest. La 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 rest. Let's try doing this same note, 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 rest with our egg shakers. If you have your egg shaker, you can grab it or you could use your hands and clap. Here we go. Shake, 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 rest. Shake, 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 rest. Note, 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 rest. Note, 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 rest. That sounds like another pattern I know. It sounds like hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Let's get our hot cross buns out of our bag. 
buried in all my stuff. That's what happens when you have a bag of wonders so full of stuff. So if we had our hot cross buns, do you know that this is a hot cross bun? It has a cross or an X on it, right? A bun, does it look like my hair? Did you notice how my hair went up today? Kind of like a glissando. I made a bun in my hair and this is also called a bun. Is that silly? Let's take our penny and give it to the baker and in return he gives us a hot, 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 hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Now blow it off and gobble it up. Mm. Oh, yummy. I couldn't really eat all of that so fast, but it's fun to pretend. Let's take our hot cross buns and make a pattern. Hot cross buns. Rest. Here we go. Hot cross buns, rest. Hot cross buns, rest. One a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns, rest. I wonder what would happen if we had two rests in a row. You know what it sounds like. Days of the week, shh, shh. Do you remember that song? Days of the week, shh, shh. Days of the week, shh, shh. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, shh, shh. Or days of the week, rest, rest. Days of the week, rest, rest. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, rest, rest. Look how smart you are learning all these things about music. Let's put our hot cross buns away back in their bag. Oh, it looks like I have a message. Hey, hey, look at me. Can you copy, copy me? Hey, hey, look at me. Can you copy, copy me? Should we try singing that how chickens do? When chickens get up in the morning, they always say good day. That's what a chicken says. Let's sing in chicken. Hey, hey, look at me. Buck, 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 buck. Buck, 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 buck. That's so silly. All right, let's see who sent me a message today. Oh, Lissy sent me a message. All right, let's see what Lissy has to do for us. Hey, hey, look at Lissy. Can you copy, copy Lissy? All right, now it's your turn. Now you copy her. Hey, hey, look at Lissy. Can you copy, copy Lissy? Thanks for copying Lissy. Now let's copy. Oh, Henry also sent me a message. Here we go, let's watch Henry. Hey, hey, look at Henry. Can you copy, copy Henry? Now it's your turn to copy and do what Henry does. Hey, hey, look at Henry. Can you copy, copy Henry? Thanks for copying Henry. Now let's copy Peter. Okay, Peter. Hey, hey, look at Peter. Can you copy, copy Peter? Great, now you get to pretend to do what Peter's doing. Hey, hey, look at Peter. Can you copy, copy Peter? Thanks for copying Peter. If you ever want to send a video to us and we could maybe copy you, you can. All right, do you remember how the itsy bitsy spider, the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout? Let's do it. Can you go like this with your fingers? You can take them and match them like this or you could just twist them up, ready? The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Sunshine arms. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Just like in our book last week with Isa Trapani. I'm going to get my staff because we're going to do some drawing. 
Okay, so now we're going to draw how the itsy bitsy story goes, right? The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout and then down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. See? The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Now our itsy bitsy spider, our little purple friend, he is going to play on our staff. He likes to play on our staff in two different ways. He likes to be in the white part, in the space. He also likes to be on the black part, on a line. We know he's on a line and we can see the black part going through his tummy. We know he's in a space when Oh, he's got lots of great room to stretch his little legs out. So space, line, space, and line. Great. It is story time. Let's read a story together. All right, today we're reading Dance by the Light of the Moon by Joanne Ryder, illustrated by Guy Francis. This is the front cover of the book. This is the back cover of the book. And this book is feeling a little cold. What? No, but this is called a jacket. The jacket of the book protects the cover so that it doesn't get all torn and damaged from all the shuffling about we do with our books. And the music for this book is in the beginning. Here we go. Dear Buffalo gal, can't you come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon? Shh, it's a surprise. Buffalo Flo has an elegant bow and a grand sash that flows from her head to her toes. In her bow, light and loose, lovely Flo calls to Goose a dance by the light of the moon. Here's Goose's house, and I think they're going to take her car. Gertie Mae Goose sports a new pair of shoes with wrap tapping taps and crisscrossing straps, crisscross hot cross buns. In her snazzy black flats, Gertie Mae honks to cat, come dance by the light of the moon. They're gonna drive and pick up their friends. Here's Cassie Sue Pig, Dance her flip floppy hat, drifting flowers and lace. What style, what grace. With a flourish and a jig, Cassie Sue purse to pig. We'll dance by the light of the moon. Looks like the pig's growing a garden. Patty and Pig picks the prettiest wig and her long silky curls float around as she twirls. Patty Ann joins her gals and she oinks to her pals. Let's dance by the light of the moon. Here we go, we've got one, two, three, four wigs. Do you think she chose your favorite or do you like another one better? Let's dance by the light of the moon. They're all ready for the party. Gals from the farm strolling by arm in arm. They glide to the glen, but where are the men? How could they be late for a toe-tapping date? Come dance by a light of the moon. Buddies and boys, show yourselves, make some noise. These gals are a sight and the mood feels just right. Hey boys, don't waste time when the evening is fine. For a dance by the light of the moon. The goat looks so nervous. He's so nervous he is eating his hat. What? Here are the guys, they're in trousers and ties. They've got flowers in hand, except for the goat who ate his. And they really look grand. Gentle guys, you've done great. Now sweet gals, pick your date and dance by the light of the moon. I've got my banjo, yells old farmer snow. Gals and guys give a cheer now that everyone's here. Instruments. 
It's a party for you, for my friends, good and true. Go dance by the light of the moon. Isn't that a pretty party with the lanterns? They danced by the light of the moon. Whoa, look how big that moon is. It is huge. And lots of stars. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Shooting stars go really fast across the sky. Use your phrase arms with me, ready? Fast, one more time, fast. Now let's pretend shooting stars can go slow, ready? Slow, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Remember what that song sounds like? It's the exact same singing sound as A, B, C. Good, let's do that one now, ready? Here we go. A, B, C, D. That's a new one. D, E. Kind of like a looking glass, F, G. Let's do that again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Shooting star. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z, now I know my ABCs. Sounds like twinkle little stars. Ah, that's not the real ending, but it's silly and it's true. ABCs do sound like twinkle twinkle little star. Cause you know that, cause you're so smart. Our hands can also do solfege. Do, Re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Remember we have a high do and a low do. Let's remember our solfege hand signs from last week. Do at your belly button, re like a rooftop, mi like the floor, fa with your thumbs down, so like a gate. La, 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 nice and loose. T points up to do. Remember we have a high do and a low do. Do you remember one of our friends who likes to go up and down? That's right. The grand old Duke of York likes to take his 10,000 men. Watch what we get to do. We get to turn the bells into a mountain or a hill. Are you ready? Whoop. Look at that, they can turn just like a mountain. Let's check if all of our notes are still there, ready? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. They are still there and it goes from low to high, just like a regular mountain does. Now let's see if the grand old Duke of York wants to go up. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Up is the high do. And down is the low do. Now, I think my legs need a break from all this sitting. Let's get up, let's do some marches. Are you ready? Here we go. March, 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 march. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they're neither up nor down. Woo! I think my legs feel really warmed up and ready to go explore our troll cave. Who's at my door? 
Come on in. Oh, it's my friend Emily and my baby Natalie and Emily's daughter Faye. Emily is a news reporter and she just heard about the troll cave and she wanted to do a special report. We are so excited and we may have a snack right after. <laughs> do you think trolls eat applesauce? Okay, let's go check it out. Mm, Mommy can report part on of that. The report. <laughs> we'll find out what. Let's they do eat. it. We're gonna pack our girls and get ready. Get your costumes on. You can join us. Here we go. I've got Emily with me. We're going into the Hall of the Mountain King by Edvard Grieg. We're going in the cave just like Pierre Gint did. Emily's gonna report for us. I have to collect the facts I see as we go. I have my notepad and my pen and a little piece in my ear that helps me hear what's going on. I'll listen closely, but I need to write down what we see and hear and smell. What do you smell? Whisper toes, whisper toes, whisper toes. Lindsay, I smell, it's really wet and kind of dirty in here. Oh, I'll write that down. Does it smell like maybe little poop? -poo? Yeah, maybe. I see lots of rocks, a lot of rocks. Brown and gray wipes. That's really dark Look in here. Look, let me write down it's so dark. Look, Lindsay, I just got a word. Look, that if you see a troll, they don't like if someone blows a kiss at them. Should we try it? Let's try it. Blow a kiss. Oh, they run away. They're they don't running like it. away. Look, remember that. I'm writing it down for my report. They don't like them. No, they're running. Do you see them run, Faye? Wow, we're getting out of much faster. I'm writing this all down. Collecting all the Oh no, they're report. coming back. Kisses at them? Okay. Ooh, we collected a lot for our report. Thank you. Hello, I'm Emily Flores, and I'm here to report that in the Hall of the Mountain King by Edvard Grieg, that trolls do not like applesauce. Also, from my observations, the cave was dark, damp, and smelly. And I would suggest that if you are going to travel there, you don't want to stay too long. Also, the big rocks that we were walking around, whisper towing around and jumping over were very tricky, but Lindsay and our daughters were able to make it out safe because we learned something very important. Trolls do not like if you blow a kiss to them. They think that is disgusting. Thanks for listening to my report. I'm Emily Flores. Emily is a great reporter. Did you see how she was noticing the things around her? She was looking and writing things down and listening and smelling and reporting and recording what she was observing around her. You can do that too. You could look and see what's around you and you could write down and describe what you're seeing and experiencing. Or if you don't know how to write words yet, you could always draw pictures. And remember what Emily discovered? She discovered that <sniffs> trolls hate getting kisses blown at them. They run away ah, because it scares them. So if you're feeling nervous when we do the troll cave, you can blow them a kiss <sighs> or you could take a deep breath. <sighs> and it helps your heartbeat to get to a nice calm beat. My 
heart will be blessed with the sound of music, and I'll sing once more. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye everybody. I had so much fun with you. Thanks for singing with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.